another there's film. There's more. There's always more. There's more. <laughs> um, there's a film that caught your attention, actually, on Facebook called The Subway Sun. That's the one. Right. That's the one. And they've done a lot of the casting for this film already. It's about a homeless guy in the Camden, New Jersey, Philly area who's really talented. He grew up in a broken home that, you know, his mother had some addiction issues and his father wasn't present. And he winds up homeless on the streets with a guitar. And he's super talented. And it... The film takes us on this journey with this man. Mm -hmm. um, it's written by Adam Radcliffe. We've got director David Von Rome on board, which is really cool. Um, and there's some people you might recognize in the cast so far. Tom Sizemore, Saving Private Ryan. Oh, sure, sure. He is part of it. Um, Clifton Powell. We've got Vincent Pastor again. He's back again? Yeah. He, you know, he's doing a lot of film work these days. You and Vinny are becoming the new Pesci and De Niro. You know, you know? all right. I usually... <laughs> <laughs> I, the thing, I work with a lot of people, and I, I have to admit, I am Vincent's publicist for his band. So I kind of, you know, yeah, we, cross, cool. we cross paths that's all right. in this. Justin Guarini signed on for the film. You might remember him from American Idol that's a couple right. seasons oh, ago. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Samantha Ryan Maisano, she was in Orange is the New Black. She's also in Tom Baldinger's film, Who's Jenna? What a cast. This is all right. Connie Romano. And oh, my you goodness. You're some heavy hitters here. Yeah. So there's a lot of people. And we're casting a big name actress for one of the female roles. But I can't go into that just yet. But just stay tuned. You'll, you tell, know. Me, you'll tell me oh, off I'm the gonna... air. You will, right? <laughs> You're laughing. I, I will. I will tell it's you. Very non-committal. All right. All right. I will right. Tell you and what I also like too is the fact that uh, people are making movies again in New Jersey. Yes. Yes. The and state, for some reason, is they're not very friendly to filmmakers, whether no. it's television or movies. But you know what? Jersey is a Jersey is a character in itself. Look at the Sopranos. The state right. of New Jersey was a character in that show. Exactly. So we got to have film and television work done here again. And I wish the state would open their eyes and right. make it easy for producers and directors to, to shoot here. A couple of the, the issue is, you know, tax incentives would oh, be kind of nice. Taxes, schmaxes. You know what? I, yeah, that would help too. <laughs> but uh, all right. We'll talk more to Laura, Laura Madsen uh, coming up. 737, we are back on Jersey Central. It's a Wednesday morning on the New Talk Radio WCTC. The voice of Central Jersey, Laura Madsen, is with us here in studio. Talking about a bunch of things, writing, blogging, promoting, starring in movies, and all kinds of things that she has going on uh, in her life. And, of course, you can check out her website. Uh, it's uh, theladyinredblog.com. Yeah, where that's you where can you go can find me in the cyber world. Very cool. All right. We have a guest uh, who was calling in, and this is somebody that has to do with uh, the movie in South Jersey, right, that you're part of? Yeah. Uh, there's a film that we're going to be making in 2016. It's called The Subway Sun. Okay. And it's going to be filmed... Uh, a lot of it in the Camden, New Jersey area. And we have writer and actor and musician Adam Radcliffe calling in on the line. Awesome. Good morning, Adam. How are you? Good. How are you doing, Bert? Thanks Good. for having me on. Thanks for getting up so early for us. Uh, is Laura no always have this much energy? My God, and it's so early in the morning. She always has this much energy. It's like... It's completely consistent every morning, but I get kicked in the belly by my two-year-old every morning. Oh, gotcha. All right. She must be a lot of fun to have on set, I can tell. Yeah. L L she's, <laughs> right. she's a ball of energy. Right, right. So I'm really intrigued by, I'm intrigued by this movie here that you're filming. And first of all, how, how cool is it to film a movie in Jersey, which is great. But uh, The Subway Sun, what do we need to know about this? Uh, it's, it's a completely unique, timely um tale about the the unsung um alleyway if you will underground uh musician um but it's kind of got a twist that uh the kid who grew up playing um in the uh the subway terminal doesn't know that his father's the uh basically the king of uh nashville um in the 70s and the 60s era wow so i guess it's it's almost like a if you could, if you could imagine that Hank Williams didn't know that his son, or Hank Williams Jr. didn't know that his father was, uh, you know, Hank Williams, um, which is, is is the unique hook, I think. But it's also about the collaboration of uh, musical genres, which is happening in this country now. When you have Nelly rapping on Jason Aldean hit records, and you have uh, right. Ludacris rapping on, 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 you know, these country right now is is whether people like it or not, you know. Uh, the Midwest, it, it, it's taken over the whole country. I mean, people that are selling out um, baseball stadiums, football stadiums. Oh, are, sure, sure. You know, the Kenny Chesneys, the Tim McGraws. And uh, so basically it's about a kid um, 
who's dealing with his own demons. He's, he's kind of an idiot savant with the guitar, but he's also mixed up with, uh, you know, some of the, the drug world in, in Camden and the, um, actually Kensington area too, which, uh, uh, oh, Philadelphia. If you know anything okay. about Philadelphia, that it's like the biggest epidemic going. So, um, his actual healing power becomes, um, you know, his music because he's found, he's founded by, um, a preacher, um, who runs a black, church in philadelphia he's played by uh actor brian anthony wilson who's a big big he's actually in the movie creed right now he had mm-hmm. a huge role on the wire um but we've managed um through this unique story to book a lot of interesting actors like tom sizemore who's on his way back up and uh we we intentionally booked the tom sizemore because he has his own demons with uh you know addiction if you yeah. know anything about tom sizemore but yeah. um he's actually sober now and um so it's it's a tale about you know I mean with with Scott Whelan dying most people know that that, that uh, you know that the front men are the ones that usually burn out and and, um, and uh, it's a tale about a guy that doesn't burn out that actually comes to being sober and um, not making the mistakes that his father that he didn't know was his favorite musician as a child wow like uh, you know wasn't able to do I love the so concept it, of this I really do what, what led you to this Laura what attracted you to this story uh, well we Adam and I know some of the same people and when I read the script I said you know this is interesting because this is you know something that we can relate to pretty much anywhere you live you know yeah. you see people that are having a tough time with addiction issues or some people that are living on the street and you see a lot of talent that goes unrecognized too so it it kind of drew me in it sucked me in mm-hmm. and yeah, uh, and Bert, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry to interrupt but that's that's the that's initially I am a, I'm an actor first but I'm also a guy that listens for unique stories and I happened to ro- write something called The Philly Kid that was picked up by Warner Brothers in wow. 2007 okay and it was on Netflix and uh, unfortunately I had a co-writer that got the majority of the credit on that and I, it took a while um you know Joel Silver was the was the uh producer on that it took a while for me to want to get back into the ring with the, the writing game. But when I lived in New York City, I lived in Harlem for a time. I lived in Midtown. And I lived all over Manhattan. Mm-hmm. And uh, some of the best music that you'll ever hear is in the subways at 3 in the morning when there's like five people in the terminal. It's very true. And You're I've, right. I've always wondered, why are these people not exposed? And what happens when you leave them? What, like it, Usually there's a mental illness of some sort. Or there's just a, um, you know, there's just a lack of, uh, the look or the age brackets not right. And it's a shame. And some of these, you know, reality shows are exposing some of these people, but not, not as much as I think should, you know, like yeah. literally the best music I've ever heard has been at three in the morning. I believe in it. In heart, you know, yeah. wherever it is. I believe it. Yeah. Now there's, we got a couple minutes left, Adam. Uh, if you could talk about uh, the component that goes along with this. Uh, there's a crowdfunding aspect of this that will allow people to get involved uh, on the financial end and at the same time have a role in this. Uh, how does that work for people? Um, well, th- we actually were successful in uh, our first go around on Kickstarter. We raised 15. I said it very low because I was a little reluctant to go on to Kickstarter. I've never um, explored that type of thing. And right. uh, we actually, I'm so happy that I did, but we um, were able to attach, you know, legitimate people contractually. So I'm kind of building this mansion here and people just keep responding to it. Okay. So uh, we started again with Indiegogo and um, Indiegogo, it, you can go to the Subway Sun on Indiegogo. I think um, there's also, it's also attached to our website. It's the Subway Sun dot com. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a really, really nice website. Uh, produced by Paul Waters here in Philly. Um, and and did you have anything else to add, Laura? Well, there is a, a perk that we offer where I don't quite remember at the level we offer it, but you can contribute to the crowdfunding campaign for the Subway Sun, and then you become an extra in the movie. That's great. So you can, you can get your time on screen. You can say to right. all your friends and family, and we, there I am, I was in a movie, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And we have, you know, <laughs> uh, other cast members, uh, Justin Guarini, who's a friend of mine from the time we were little kids. Um, cool. He's like, you know, he just became a Broadway actor, and he's Mr. Sweet, if people don't know that, in Dr. Pepper commercials. Um, we also have uh, Vinny Pastor, um, who's a huge actor from The Sopranos. Sure. But the, the bottom line is the people, the legitimate 
talent continue to respond to this project because it is legit and it's timely and it's unique. Uh, it's kind of like once meets, um, you know, crazy heart meets basketball diaries. Nice. Okay. If, if you want to get the M and M flow in, because there is an <laughs> urban aspect to this, we do mix rapping with country and uh, rock country mostly, but it's country. Very cool. Um, so you got basketball diaries, uh, you know, meets eight mile with M and M. Nice. Nice. Okay. So, yeah. But also, there's an event that we're having February 27th in um, the uh, Pottstown area. It's a place called Gilbert's Ver- Gilbertsville Fire Company. Okay. And the place holds 700 people. It's $25. It's a beef and beer. It starts at 7 p.m. And uh, it's actually in remembrance of one of our cast members who passed away three weeks after we were done shooting. Oh, he man. actually played and my father. When he says okay. shooting, he, he means they shot a short film, uh, and now we're creating a, a feature film because wow. the response to the short film was so positive all right well good stuff well continued success with this adam it was great talking to you this morning and uh it sounds like a terrific project and i'm real excited and if you need a middle-aged overweight radio guy uh, i'm your guy you can cast all right oh i saw your picture you're very handsome well, thank, thank you, you so much. thank you very I'm much thank you for the time this morning adam good luck with everything all right all right brother god bless. all right thanks man you too all right very cool good stuff all right good to talk to him yeah, but uh, yeah. go to the, uh, the the subwaysun.com dot com and find out about that, right? Yeah, and there's good. there's a link if you guys want to get involved in the production of it. Awesome, real good. We'll come back. We'll spend another couple minutes here with the lady in red, Laura Manson, uh, coming up. Seven fifty.